Hey and welcome to Sekiro the Ultimate Guide. Now if this is your first time watching any of these videos then I'd ask for a minute or so of your time just so I can explain how to use this guide and what it's about. Essentially this guide is entirely complete and it will help you get a full platinum for Sekiro. It covers all NPC quests that are relevant, all items, a best path through the game and also specifically strategies to get you through the game with the path of least resistance. Remember that this guide is supposed to be used as a full guide but you, could, you can use it for specific areas if you need to but if you're confused about how you know we are at a certain point or doing a certain thing, chances are the answer is in a previous episode. When it comes to boss battles, we really only show you the easiest method that we could find based on our perspective. If you want to fight the boss differently, it's up to you in this case to find a different and harder strategy. Now, if you have a good tip or have a question, leave them in the comments and I'll add them to a pinned post. That way this guide can constantly get better or more efficient. So if you have a question, check the pinned post first. If you do have a tip, please leave a timestamp so I can find the bit that you're talking about. Also, please bear in mind that this guide is taking me literally hundreds of hours to make, so if you enjoyed the video, the least you could do is give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, perhaps give us a sub! And if you really, really enjoyed it, you can support the channel on our Patreon if you're feeling generous, or perhaps sub to us on our Twitch, that's another good option. Now on to the guide. Welcome back to Sekiro, the ultimate guide, and today it is the first half of the the whole Mibu village, hidden forest part, and uh, yeah, this bit initially might seem a bit daunting, but actually, I mean, as you can see, this part is only 11 minutes long, so it's quite easy to get through this first part of the area. Now, initially, it might seem like it's going to be a massive pain in the ass because there's all these like ghostly spectres in the forest, but what we're going to do is we're actually just going to get rid of them immediately. We're just going to make a beeline for getting rid of the spectres and uh, that will make everybody's life a lot easier. So as you saw there, we went around the tree to kill the cock, because if you go the other way, it can like just jump out at you and do like attacks immediately, and it's a pain in the ass. And then we also use the shuriken to get the one in the branch, picking up some of the items. And then we're coming up this way to get the items here, and then you repel over at the other cock, and uh, yeah. It's not continuous. <laughs> That's just something, something more cock, but um, yeah, get rid of this one. And so if you were to go that way, over the branch, that would take you to a bunch of like spectre guys and they pop out at you and they're annoying. So we're just going to avoid that entirely and we're going to go like the shortcut to the boss area and we're just going to do that like immediately, just get that done. And then that means we can pick up all the items without any enemies being there to like, you know, clog up our time. Picking up the snapseed and going across this... Uh, Hugging wall, which I'm not sure if this was meant to be like the worst texture imaginable. I mean, yeah, they could have done better with that if I'm being totally honest. But nah, I love the tiling. I'm not sure <laughs> if this was meant to be like noticeable or not, or it's meant to be like a hidden thing, but it's just kind of there, I guess. So I think the idea is that see that tree branch that you jumped down to, onto and then walked up here? Yeah. That's not the route they thought you would take. Yeah, yeah. But you can take it. You can, so. yeah. And there's no way the designers didn't know. So I guess they were yeah. just like, you know, if you're, uh, you know, the enterprising kind of player, you can so take advantage of it. Beast Whistle to get the monkeys starting a fight because there's uh, a boss here who's now, the same as the one from Hawk Manor. Yeah. Now, sometimes... Hawk Manor? No, not Hawk Manor. Heratus, Dave. Heratus. <laughs> Hawk Manor's a Final Fantasy. <laughs> So, it's an estate to be fair. Now, what we're doing here is waiting for this guy to like lose his aggro, but sometimes you can go up there and he will lose the aggro, sometimes he won't. So, we're just going to run away until his effectively his like position resets uh, to, to get to reset the aggro, just like come back up here and then. Usually, onto this branch should be far enough. Yeah, you got you, there. You go. As soon as you start hugging the wall, move up like a tiny bit, that'll be it. So, then you just like come up, sneak. Make sure he doesn't see you, and then we can just go in for the backstab, take a bunch of his health off, and then that's it. Now, clearly the frame rate is having a timeout currently. It could just be Vegas. Could be. No, no, it's not. It is the frame rate. Oh. So, now we go up, get our free health bar off him, and then it is business as usual. We are going in for big stab attacks and just running around them when we get the opening. Fuck try to deflect this guy, because once you, if you get hit off him, he just does a fuck ton of damage. Uh, he does have a Murakumo. He does. Now, you can use the long spark on him, 
and that will like stun him for a bit, you get some free damage. However, he does build up an immunity to it, so you then have to use it like a couple of times before he'll be affected, so just bear that in mind. But essentially, this is like easy peasy. Now, if you get greedy and you take the two hits, chances are he probably will hit you. <laughs> he nearly poisoned you. Oh well, never mind. So long spark him there, that wasn't too bad. Then the bastard deflected me? Yeah. Crazy. So then, it, so as you can see, very easy. Business as usual. Defeated with the use of infinite sprint. <laughs> it's broken, man. It is. It is broken. There's also a fistful of ash there that I guess you could also use uh, to like good effect with that boss. So jump and then like grab in midair, repel along. And now we're gonna like. Basically, there's like a quote unquote boss that is like projecting all these spirits in the forest so you come up this way like you actually like you have to come up this way in order yeah. to get rid of them and you also have to kill the boss to like maneuver to the next part of the level as well so this bit is effectively isn't optional no this isn't because there's an illusion that um basically is impassable terrain yeah and in order to remove the gate, you need to kill this quote-unquote boss that you can just get a plunging attack on. And, yeah. And then he's got, like, 10 hell, Yeah, like, 10 HP? Yeah, something like that. Look at that, 3 R ones 4 R ones So there we go. Now, it is absolutely not worth exploring the rest of this area. Unless you, you might as well just do this first. If you want Tony to explore... I would be so happy with that boss. Why? The big puff of cloud at the end. He'd be out of his nut in it. What? I didn't smoke weed. He was a coke dealer. That's what I'm saying. What? That much coke that was like a, a puff Have of smoke? Have you seen the end of Scarface? He was like face down in a mountain of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never seen Scarface. Wow. It's like four hours long, fuck's sake. Yeah, it is. How much time do you think I've got in my hands? Enough time to record this Skiro game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. So we're just going to homer bone back to the start. This is now going to show you the like correct way through the level. Not I guess. enough time to change your terminology, though. I see. What do you mean? Homeward bone. Oh, shut up, right? <laughs> that is On what it fire. is. On fire. Idle. Look, they've spent like fucking f five games using the same things, and then they like change it for this. Look, they stopped you dodging. Why can't they stop you using the word bonfire? <laughs> I don't know doesn't feel it. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up grabbing these items down on the bottom floor of this first area. Now, there is a headless here, as you can see. He is optional. Uh, and we're not doing him currently. And yeah, he, is he almost just one shot you there. So he will slow your uh, speed down. So what we're going to do is like we go in, grab the first item, and then we move away, bait him away, and then run and get the second item, then like run around him, come to this part, get those three items. Yeah, he has like tranquil walk a piece. Yeah, yeah, it he does. It slows you down in a radius. So, once you've got those three items in the scrap there, that's it for down here. Uh, eventually, we do do a, uh, like a killing headless runs and stuff, but that's at like two parts time, I think. That's when you can just straight up like three shot them with nah. your attack power and stuff. Nah, we never get to that point. Yeah. We want to like get them done, do all the backtracking, and then it's always only like forward progress. But anyway, though. Um, there's some cocks here, that's easy enough. These are pretty much the only enemies that exist in this area now anymore after getting rid of the illusions. So, in this next area, which is, I guess is like the second half of this area, this place will be covered in fog and like a bunch of guys that just... For some reason, there's like two of them don't aggro on you, but then like the rest of them do. So, just follow what we're doing, grabbing the items. There's like a bunch of upgrade materials and stuff. But like around this area, there's like guys that are basically almost invisible launching like shurikens at you and then you're being attacked off. There might be dogs. Yeah, Illusion there dogs. Are. There are. They're ghost dogs. So... See, not all dogs go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Some get stuck in the hidden forest. <laughs> so at this point, it was such a pain in the ass, And for like, basically the, the, the items aren't that great. It was so much risk for so little reward. I'm like, why am I coming here first when I can just get rid of the gas? There aren't any good items in Sekiro. <laughs> you know what? Good point. There isn't any good items, so Oil? Like, fuck that. <laughs> Maybe. Oil's really good. Get a good tan. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Can make him look more Latino. 
I don't know. I mean, it already looks very, very white for being Japanese. They've whitewashed their own game. It's 2020. No, no, no. It's like uh, Last Samurai with Christian Bale. Aye, aye. <laughs> you mean... Uh, I was going to say Tom Jones, but it's not It's not Tom, Tom Jones. Jones, no. He's a singer. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking guy from the Mission Impossible films. Anyway, uh, so this is me just kind of showing you the outline of this oh, place. Oh, yeah, it was him. It wasn't Tom Christian. Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah, it wasn't Christian Bale, was no. it? Huh. Tom Cruise does all his own stunts. He's an actual, he's a beast. Despite being a mental Scientologist, like, he puts the work in. And a bad actor. He's an okay actor. No, he is okay. <laughs> Immediately just, changed he's, it just He's just a bad human. <laughs> yeah. So, get this pellet here, it's, a little, it's like somewhat hidden. Now, I'm going to admit, right, this might be the ultimate guide, but I genuinely cannot work out what branch it is that I need to lock onto to not fall and die immediately. And for some reason, I... I kept trying it. It's because you're meant to go left through the ghosts. Well, whatever. You can you can jump off that branch far enough to land on this bit. And the only reason I died was because I landed and then he shurikened me immediately. But then we're going to stop at this idol and then pick up some of the items. Those that are ghosts area. aren't there if you don't kill the monkey. Uh, those spectres. Yeah, don't perhaps. Appear there. I guess they don't so. appear there if you go this way first. Because I I've done this without those ghosts being there. Right, okay, okay. That's why I was wondering what the trigger was in the last part. And it because, must be the ape. Yeah, it must be. So, inexplicably, you can do this and kill this lone shadow. This is a slightly good time. Like, you can, like, uh, farm experience in this level. As you saw, the bar went up quite a bit there. So, you can just, like, keep backstabbing him over and over again if you need some spare skill points to, like, catch up or get ahead. Then, uh, there's, like, a couple of small items... I think there's another coin purse around here. We jumped up there, launched a shuriken at that dog while I'm Making on use side. of that skill point you spent in the early game to yeah. use your tools in the air. Oddly enough, it's, it's vaguely relevant at this point. Because if you move any closer, like the dogs will like aggro on you. Yeah. It's just turned into the like... The frame rate is aggroing yeah. on me. Yeah. It's turned into blight town. <laughs> so there's this like semi-hidden item up here. Yeah, another coin purse. Then there's like a lump of fatty wax. I, think I guess those are good up. items. Yeah, the coin purses Money's are, good. yeah. Money's good. Money is good. It's like a Christmas present when someone gives you a gift card and it's, you only spend it in one place. No, don't buy gift cards. Give them the flexibility of yeah. being able to spend the gift on anything. And at the end of the game, you get infinite divine confetti from a merchant. And that's like the only good item in the game. So this merchant sells the mottled purple gourd. If you have any spare cash, pick it up the now because we do get it later. He's also selling some gatchin sugars, they're useful, and you can also bank spare coins with this guy. He sells a goldfish shard, uh, two treasure carp shards. Uh, so yeah, he also sells them if they ever become relevant. We and do manage to pick up all of them in the game, and we get everything that's worth getting. And dragon uh, fucking uh, sake as well that you can give to an NPC to expand their dialogue. Yeah, that's what, again, just to reiterate, in case you didn't hear it, that is what the drinks are for. You just give them NPCs so they'll talk to you more. That's pretty much it. But that is it for this part of the then game. Then they all get dragon rot and die anyway. Well, they actually don't die. They just no, cough over and over again. Yeah. It's really annoying. Yeah. And that is as far as... They get cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. It's like, oh, the, this dragon rot, bro, it's cholera. <laughs> <laughs> that's the 5G cell towers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this part. Hopefully it was... I mean, I guess this would be vaguely useful if it isn't immediately apparent that you can just, like, kill all the... The, the stupid spectres and stuff, and then this is all the items, not that it technically matters in Sekiro, but it is what it is, we need to get the Sekiro guide out of the way before Demon Souls. But, uh, tune in for the next part, which is the second half of the Miba Village. Uh, catch you then, guys.